So yeah, I'm going to make some beer paddles and send them to Molten Make. Now, Molten Make is a channel, a YouTube channel run by a guy called James, and he's into into brewing and all sorts of making things. And he's come up with a great idea that for the up and coming Maker Central in Birmingham, he's creating a beer, calling it Maker's Central Ale. And I thought that was just a wonderful, wonderful idea. Now I've got a list of things I want to make, and down in this list are some beer paddles. But because James came up with that idea, it sort of boosted it up front. So I think I'm going to make them now. Now you can see in the uh, the weather and the breathing in the in the workshop during the making of these paddles, we've had temperatures of minus five, minus eight. Then it's gone up to zero again. So I had to take the glue ups indoors a couple of times because the glue just was not functioning and it was going solid, as you know it does. So you saw me chop up um, waste wood that I have, I'll apply, there's some, and that's also white oak as well. Now that comes from other projects I've done and I just keep off the offcuts indoors. And there it is, bit of news, you can see what's happening. And you can see outside as well, still snow. But I've got my basic forms made up. And as you may or may, know, may or may not know, beer paddles have holes in them to set the glasses in to carry, say, three glasses. So I'm sort of, well, I'm going to do this with a hole saw, but finding out which which size is best. And once I've found them, I need to sort out my spacing average spacing because once I've decided that I can then cut the forms for all of them I'm making four I'm keeping one for myself and I'm going to send James the other three so I'll cut the ends off there I'm putting some angle pieces to where the handles are going to go to give it a shape I don't want it I don't want it fancy fancy but it's got to have some shape and it's starting to look like a small cricket bat at the minute Marking out the handle length. I've used my own hand as a, as a measure, I mean, there's nothing amazing about that. And that's uh, the four as they stand at the moment. So I'm starting to look at the center points of it with one. Because once I've got one sorted out, I can then transfer those measurements onto the other three. That's the center line, and I begin the center holes for the, for the uh, for the glass holes. It was strange when I was cutting through there because it's a mixture of hardwood and softwood. The, the ply is soft, so it cuts uh, through very easy, but then you've got the hardness of the oak. So the saw was, um, the whole saw was a tad confused because it was going in easy, then stopping, then going in easy, then stopping, but then elbow grease, elbow grease shoulder push, you got it. And of course I had to do um, 12, 12 of these. I would start from one side, cut through half, and then do the other half from the other side, stop and rip out. Now I'm setting up my, um, my router. I don't have a router table, but this is a router table. Uh, that router I've had for 21 years now, and it's never broken, it's so solid. I can attest to the strength of DeWalt for that. So I fitted it down like that, which is actually upside down, the way we're looking at it. Flip it over, and then I've uh, flattened off and filed off the screws because they come through a little bit. Now my plan here is to do a round over edge that's on the outside of the paddle and also on the inside of the, the circles, which I'm doing here. The, the table works perfectly good. And I'm in a very small workshop. I've got a, I've got half of a one-car garage. So once I've finished with this, I'll unscrew it, put it to one side. Now here I am planning to make a handle, um, just to give it more meat to hold on to. I've got these strips of hardwood, and I'm going to glue those down. Once they're glued, I can then round them over and shape some sort of palm-fitting handle. So here I am gluing that one down. They're all glued down, different types of uh, hardwoods, there's some nice spalting on there too. Out comes the trusted block pane, you can't live without it. And I'm uh, rounding off the corners here. You see it starts to really look like a cricket bat with holes in, or a bad tennis racket. <laughs> but no, let me assure you, it is a beer paddle. 
of that. Uh, this block pane did a really good job with this. It handed, rounded it over really nicely, and I finished it off with a uh, with some sanding. Now that sander I've had for 22 years, and I bought that second hand then. So, and that's Black and Decker. <laughs> this is not an advertisement for any of these makes, I tell you. But it just shows you stuff works, and there's nothing wrong with second hand. So that did a good job of that. Now I'm making here the boards to go underneath, which will uh, give the, the glass a base to, to sit onto. I spray painted them black. I did two coats in the end. And I epoxied, this is the bottom of one of the paddles, and I used epoxy for this. And I was uh, in two minds to actually take this indoors, but again, because you can tell by my my clothes, I've gone from wearing my big fat coats to just wearing a shirt, to wearing the coats again, to wearing the cardigan. The, weather, the, the temperature was up and down, up and down. But I decided to risk it with this. The epoxy was okay in the end. That's one, glued up. And it survived the zero temperatures. Back on with a coat, taking them all off. And yet yeah, they were fine. They were fine. Now trimming these edges off. This is only a rough cut, as I tend to do something with the bases anyway. Peter's gig lets me be able to work to the uh, the paddle's edge. You can see where the black contrast the different woods there and I really like that. I was just going to do wood but no. Now I've changed the uh, the cutter on the router to a 45 degree angle and I'm cutting that into the base so you only see it underneath. As you can see there. And then once I've cut that profile into it I'll clean it up with a block paint and the trusty 21 year old or 22 year old sander however old he is and let's just put some shape onto it take off the edges make it a bit more friendly rounding off those corners and yeah the the uh, the contrast of the wood and the plywood i really like it it's probably a 70s throwback i don't know so it's cleaning off that edge where it meets the two though now there was some um some epoxy spill out there and i'll continue the clean up more thoroughly this time, it's going to be a finished one. Going around all the whole thing. Picking up some glue. There's the epoxy spill out I've been cleaning up. Let's get the chisel, scrape it off. It came off fine. And then carry on sanding. So I look through. There's the four. And the bases I'm happy with. And the next step is the finishing. I'm just going to use some spray polyurethane, uh, which I did four coats in the end, I think it was front and back and then of course inside the holes where the glass fits and everything else and the next step is just to choose three parcel them up and send them to James like I say he's had a great idea to make some beer for Maker Central I hope I see you there and I hope I have a beer with you here's the set Maker Central and let's say cheers with Maker's Central on with the next